You are welcome to another video of ISI routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, we will talk about ISI's route leaking, which redistribute level 2 routes into level 1 domain, which is by default not redistributed, and it is mostly used to prevent suboptimal routing when there is more than one level 1, level 2 border router in level 1 domains. As you know, the default operation of ISIS protocol is similar to OSPF in totally SW area mode. This means that no prefix is sent from level 2 into level 1, but level 1, level 2 router sets ATT bit, and all level 1 routers at the default route pointing to the nearest level 1, level 2 router into the routing table. In this way, Level 1 routers only deliver traffic to the nearest level 1, level 2 router to send traffic outside the area. But that is not always the best solution. For example, if the area in question has more than one level 1, level 2 router, sometimes it is preferred to send the traffic to the level 1, level 2 router that is closer to the destination than to just send the traffic to the closest level 1, level 2 router. This can happen when level 1 routers know the address details and the topologies connected to other areas. In other words, that is achieved when, contrary to the normal behavior of ISS prefers, prefixes are sent from level 2 into level 1 domain. Sending prefixes from level 2 the level 1 is called route leaking. The possible problem that may be caused by route leaking is when the area has more than one level 1, level 2 router. In this case, the prefix sent from level 2 to level 1 by one of the level 1, level 2 router will be returned to level 2 domain by other level 1, level 2 router because Level 1, level 2 router cannot recognize that this prefix is created in the level 1 domain or entered into the level 1 domain from a level 2 domain, which ultimately leads to creating a loop. As you can see, this figure shows how a loop is created. The prefix 192, 168, 1, 24 was entered into the level 1 domain by one of the level 1, level 2 routers from the level 2 domain and returned to the level 2 domain by other level 1, level 2 border router. To fix this problem, ISIS considered a bit called up-down bit when a prefix is sent from level 2 domain into the level 1 domain this bit is set by the level 1, level 2 router and therefore other level 1, level 2 routers stop sending the prefixes to the level 2 domain whose up-down bit is already set. To better understand route leaking, look at this topology where area 2 has two level 1, level 2 border routers with area 1, level 1, level 2 dash 1 and level 1, level 2, dash 2, which interfaces to the area 1 are configured into level 2 only and the interfaces into the area 2 are configured in level 1 only. The configuration is also displayed beside the topology. The configuration related to the route leaking here in both level 1 and level 2 Routers is displayed larger and in a green color as you can see but in the first step i copied all the configuration except route leaking to compare when we have route leaking and when we don't have route leaking in the level one level two routers the route leaking configuration will be explained shortly the internal routers in area Two have two routes to reach to the destination 192 168 1 connected to the level 2 router in area 1 
also note that the metric of two links between level one rotor and the second level one level two rotor as well as the link between level two rotor and the first level one level two rotor have been changed from the default value of 10 to the value of 50 and 60 50 and 60 by default the internal rotor of area 2 choose the first level 1 level 2 rotor which is closest to the internal level 1 rotor this is because the metric to the first level 1 level 2 rotor is 10 but to the second level 1 level 2 rotor is 50 but as you can see the level 1 rotor is closer to the destination through the second level 1 level 2 rotor and not through the first level 1 level 2 rotor the sum of the metric to the destination through the first level 1 level 2 rotor is 10 plus 60 which is 70 and through the second level 1 level 2 rotor is 50 plus 10 which is 60 therefore the metric the sum of the metric to the destination is closer to the second level one level two rotor but level one rotor by default chooses the first level one level two rotor which is closest to the internal rotor if we check the rotor l1 rotting table it chooses the first you, you can see that it chooses the first level one level two rotor to enter the area one let's check it together show ip route isis there is only one default route which points to the eternal 0, 0, 10, 1, 1, 1, which is the first level one level two rotor to exit the area in order to reach the area one the default route is used because by default no prefixes information is transmitted from the area one to area two both level one level two rotors present themselves as a border rotor by setting att bit and level one rotor chooses the first level one level two rotor as it is closer and has a lower metric if we check the output of level one rotor database you can see that the both level one level two rotor have set their att bit let's check it show isis database as you can see the first level one level two rotor the att bit is set and the second level one level two rotor is also att bit set now we add route leaking configuration in both level one level two rotor as you can see route leaking configuration is a simple redistribution configuration but instead of redistributing routes between two routing protocols we redistribute routes from level two into level one domain first we configure an access list to match the prefixes to be redistributed from level 2 into level 1 and in the second step we configure redistribute from level 2 into level 1 with calling the access list 101 let's copy the configuration in both level 1 level 2 rotors after redistribution, we can check again the routing table of level 1 rotor. As you can see, the route to the prefix 192.168.1 is learned in rotor level 1 and through the second level 1 level 2 rotor, which is different from default route. Default route is through the Ethernet 00, but 192.168.1 gateway points to the Ethernet 
one. This is because the metric to reach the final destination, 192, 168, one is closer through the second level one, level two rotors. You can also check the database table of level one rotor, the details, to make sure that the prefixes 192, 168, 1 is advertised through the both level 1, level 2 rotor. The first one and the second order rotor. 